Okay, so what I thought I would do here today is we had a problem and it was going to cause us major problems if we couldn't mow the grass. So I had to get this belt put on. I got it ordered, um, came in, and uh, here, here's what I've got going on here. Just so you know, first I want to remind myself and any of the viewers of the belt routing. So you can see it kind of starts right over there on that pulley, goes around this pulley, around that pulley, goes all the way across over to that pulley, back around the drive pulley, around the drive pulley there, and then around this pulley, and then all the way back around this pulley and around this pulley, okay? So I'll go, I'll scan back and forth a couple of times to show you how that goes, okay? That's how the routing goes. It gets a little tricky right here where you can't see what's happening, so I'll zoom up. But you can see when it comes around this pulley right here, let me zoom up, it goes all the way over and then around this pulley and then around the drive pulley and then back around that way, okay? All right, so I wanted to remind myself for next time when I do this, you think that there's going to be a simple way. There's not an easy way. The first thing you need to do when a belt breaks, get the mower off the tractor, obviously. I'm assuming everybody knows how to do that. Then you got to get rid of this bracket. These three bolts, pull it out. These two on this other side with the spacer, pull the gearbox completely off. Then you got to remove this idler pulley bolt because you can't get to this bolt down here because the engineers designed it. They never had to change the belt themselves. They designed it, but there's a bolt right there where my finger is and you can't get to it unless you remove this pulley. That requires you to put a lock uh, of ice grip on the opposite side because there's a, there's um, these bolts all, all go into threads and these here. But this one actually has a nut on the other side, a lock nut. So you got to get, you got to tip the mower up on its side to get it on there and get that off. So um, then once that, you got all that off, then you want to pull this spring off. The belt's going to be broken, so this will move easily, get the spring off. Um, then when you go to put it back on, it's just the opposite order. Get everything, get the belt lined up, put the gearbox in there, bolt those things back down. Um, there is one last step you have to do. Loosen this nut all the way out to here so it gives you the spring tension to be able to attach it. Get the belt on. And then start the belt, not on this side, but on this side, and just pull like hell, and you can get it over that, and everything will be in place, and you can feel the tension and everything. Then come back and tighten that up. So I'm going to do this one more time, just so you know, because I think it's really important. To get the, the broken belt, to get the new belt on, you got to take off the gearbox. Then you got to take off the idler pulley. Then you got to take off this bracket on this side, because you can see one part of the belt is on the opposite of this bracket. I don't know if you can see this bracket right here, but this, let's see if I can get a better light view. This bracket right here, one side of the belt is on the, um, the opposite side of the bracket. Here you can see the bracket, and here you can see the belt. So you have to get one, two, two of the belts go up through the bracket, and one goes on the other side which means this bracket here has to be removed. Okay? So let me try this one more time. The gearbox has to be removed. The large pulley, idler pulley has to be removed. The bracket right here on this side, this bracket has to be removed. And then the idler spring has to be removed and that bolt has to be backed out. Get the belt all on there and put it back together. So with these instructions, it should take less than an hour, but because I'm building this video and trying to help others and help myself next time, it's taking me almost two hours to do this. Good luck.